If I profane with my unworthiest hand this holy shrine, the gentle find is this. My lips, two blushing pilgrims ready stand to smooth that rough touch with a tender kiss. Oh, Daddy, that is beautiful. You really know how to read Shakespeare. Oh, yes, I suppose I could have trod the boards once. As a matter of fact, I did work with a traveling company for some time when I was just a boy. You were an actor? Oh, no, I was hired to wrestle with the scenery and the luggage. But the management never paid me, so I lost my taste for the theater. Oh, that's too bad. You, you really have a definite flair. Well, obviously you do too, or this Tim fellow wouldn't have chosen you for the part. Oh, I don't know. I, I, re I just don't want to disappoint him. My dear, you won't. You'll make a lovely Juliet. I can see you in your velvet Renaissance gown and your cap of pearl. Oh, I can't <laughs> wait. I love those elaborate costumes. You will outshine any costume you wear. I, I want to learn to read it with the right feelings. And passion. Romeo and Juliet must be spoken with passion. Yeah, I know. At the end of this scene, there's a kiss. A kiss that the audience must believe is the beginning of a great love. Who's, uh, who's playing your Romeo? I don't know. It hasn't been decided yet. Hey, Tim. Hey. Here, have some. No, thanks. No, well, sure. Go ahead. No, really. Huh. Okay. Hey, uh, what are you doing here? The audition's out for a couple of hours. Yeah, well, uh, I just thought that maybe I could help you set up, you know. Okay. There's not much to do. Oh, yeah, well, you don't need any help with any props or anything like that? Well, not for the audition. Just have to stand up there and read the scene. Yeah, well, uh, listen, I was thinking that maybe I could help you make a real splash out of this production. What do you mean? Well, I mean, you just don't have the money to dress it up. You know what I mean? Buy some really, really outstanding props and, and, and costume scenery, stuff like that. Right, I got a small budget, but it's only college production, Tad. Yeah, but why not make it a first-class production? You know what I'm saying? If all that's keeping you from really dressing the play up is little money, maybe I could help hey, you. Hey, wait, wait, wait. You trying to bribe me? Oh, no. You, come on, You're that I... anxious to get the part? Hi, Shula, come on in. I just finished the prints. You're gonna love it. Oh, well, I'm sure I will, but I, I'm starting to feel a little guilty, Greg. For what? Well, I mean, you're, you're putting so much of your time in it, you're not getting anything for it. Are you kidding? You must be joking. I, I am having a ball here. Well, how can you possibly? I mean, there's only so many photographs you can take of dancers. No, no, I learn something new at every session. Oh, come on. No, I am serious. You have been a tremendous help to me. I have. Now, don't look so surprised. Well, I don't understand what I can possibly do for you. You have given me something very interesting to focus on. And I'm in a lot better shape these days because of you. Oh, thanks. Thanks for coming over, huh? Oh, are you kidding? I wanted to be with you after everything that's happened. I have to be here. I'll tell you something. My head is spinning. It really is. I'm going around. I still can't believe it's alive. Oh, me either. I'm stunned by this. No thanks to those kidnappers. Kidnappers? That's not the worst problem. You should see him now. I thought he was going to have a stroke when Erica said she was staying with Mike. You were there? I was there. My back went out everything. I was trying to pull him away. I mean, it turned into a crazy thing. Are you, you all right? He's in there now. Says he's resting. I bet he's just brooding. Says he wants to be alone. You know something? He is very lucky to have you in his corner. Lucky? I'll tell you, he scared me half to death. I thought he was going to kill her again, Mike. Wait a minute. Do I understand you correctly? You say that Adam staged his own death? Yeah, that's right. That is the cruelest, most despicable thing I have ever heard. Your sure rank's pretty high on the list. No, well, I agree with you, America. I am talking about you, Philip. Coming in here with these lies. What? Oh, making up this disgusting story about Adam. Now, hold it, hold no. it, right there, hold it. I mean, how can you do this? I think that this is beneath contempt, Mike, beneath contempt of you to, to blacken Adam's name I, like I, that. I, I wasn't and saying how can it. you do that? How can you do that when Adam had to go through that snake-infested jungle to get back to me? You are a horrible person. How's it going, sweetie? 
pretty good. I'm just finishing up the last line. Oh, great. Yeah. Still got to go over it, you know, proofread it. Oh, yeah, I know. It's only your first draft. I'm not, not too sure if I put it all down right, you know, I said the right thing. You know, sometimes it helps to just read it out loud if you want to get a sense of what you've written. Hey, that's a pretty guy, good idea. I think I'll give it a shot. Good. Ooh. Someone who changed my life. Her name was Jenny Gardner. The day I first met her, she was just a scared little kid trying to work as a waitress in a tough bar over on Locust Street. I thought at first I was the one giving her a hand, watching out for her, seeing that she got home on the bus okay. But before I knew it, Jenny was the one helping me out, and she never stopped. The world is a whole lot emptier place without that girl here. But I'm sure the angels are saying what a better place heaven is now that she's there. Oh, Jesse, that is beautiful. So you eavesdropping, huh? I heard the first line going into the kitchen. It grabbed me. I had to turn around and come back and hear the rest. Yeah? Well, I don't know how it's going to grab Schultz. I got a lot of mistakes I got to fix is, up in here. You don't have to worry about that. That's easily fixed. What's important is the wonderful way that you wrote about Jenny. Honey, you really made her come to life. Yeah. Well, if I did that, I don't care what grade I get from Schultz, right? Just whom do you picture in the part of Romeo? Oh, uh, I don't know. Well, surely you have some ideal in mind. I mean, after all, Juliet speaks with such longing. Oh, Dad, uh, the situation is just so impossible. Sweetheart, what is it? I can relate to this play so well, because... I know, I know what it's like to love somebody so much and then just, just have everything go all wrong. Instead of wherefore art thou Romeo, it's wherefore art thou married to Dottie, eh? Dad, please, don't tease me about that. Oh, Angel, I'm not making fun of you. It's just that I know how much you love Dad and he seems to be an obvious choice for Romeo. I'll get it. Hello, Bob. What's all this about an audition? Uh, I'm uh, trying out for the part of Romeo at the oh. university. Oh, Dinah's all about it. He was helping me read the line. Oh, but I'll be happy to relinquish the role to you, Bob. Uh, thank you, I think. I think you two would have a nice time playing opposite each other. Well, I'm going to need a lot of luck to get this part. Well, if that young director is astute enough to cast Hillary for the part of Juliet, I'm sure he'll be smart enough to come up with a proper Romeo. Yeah, well, that's why I need luck. I haven't had any acting experience at all. Oh, uh, I haven't either, really. I am far from the greatest actress, that's for sure. <laughs> now, who can that be? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, uh, you know, I am, I am ready to do just about anything to get this part. Listen, maybe my hello? dad can help you with it. Oh, hello. Oh, Why, what can he do? Oh, you should hear him read. He reads so beautifully. Really? Yes. Oh, good. Well, so I'll see. Okay. Right. I'll be I'll sure and check it out. All right. Got I got to do this scene. Well. Oh, um, Dad, do you think maybe you could give uh, Bobby a couple pointers on Romeo's lines? Listen, I, I, I can use all the help I can get. Well, as you know, Bob, uh, acting is a very personal art form. Well, maybe you can just read it a little bit, and then he can just kind of pick up. I'll be happy to, but just a sec. I have to go and check on something in my study. All right. You really are nervous about this, aren't you? Yeah, I well, guess I am. I don't understand why you're so nervous about it. I mean, I never thought you had such an interest in acting. I don't. I'm uh, interested in protecting you. Protect? What are you talking about? I guess I better give you the bad news. Tad's gonna audition for Romeo. <laughs>